Yeah. What's going on? Welcome to another video. I hope you guys are having a fantastic fucking day. I unfortunately am not. And before I show you what's going on, I was actually watching a video that Ralph Rady posted basically saying that his fur ran out of battery. And check this out. What are the odds of me coming out? Oh, I'll get my keys out real quick. So everything's working, all electronics are working. I hop right in. Crank her over. Oh, that was pretty cool. Hold on. That was, do that? I don't know. That's cool though. Well, anyways, regardless, I'm still gonna go to the store and get a new battery because, as you can tell, it barely turned on. Oh, let's let's just do the beginning and then we'll do time lapse. How about that? You ready? Check in there. Are you, are you still looking for the glasses? Yes, dude. These. Oh, it's uh, stupid. It's a uh, freaking stupid. Oh, I'm glad you signed that. I'm glad I you did. I had to. I didn't have a choice. You made me sign it. That's awesome. Where are we going first? We're going to go to Napa. Or is it left or right? It's going to go take a left. So right now we're going to get our the battery for the Raptor. You don't um, have the mic on? Do what? You don't have the mic on? No, I don't have the mic. I'm just going to put it on like that because sometimes oh, it's, it's all squeaky and stuff. It's going to... Oh, the mic doesn't even work anymore. Yeah, it doesn't work anymore. But anyways, we're to Napa as far as you know brand preference I took it right oh heck no get it shut up anyways you know there's O'Reilly's AutoZone Advanced Auto Parts and for the most part the prices are all the same you know they're ranged from 100 to 150 but ever since you know I found Napa I think I need to uh, just keep on going anyways I found Napa and I just you know pretty much fell in love with that Brand. I mean, it's not. It, it's it is pretty pricey, but in my opinion, it's one of the best. You know, it's, it's it's reliable. You know, they have really really good parts, and it's just you know I've had really good experience with it, so I'm just gonna go with Napa. But like I said, we're gonna go over there, and get a battery, throw it on the Raptor, and just call it a day. Okay, grab yourself a 516 and loosen up the negative. And this shouldn't take too long. Um, just keep in mind that since it has acid, these batteries, you know, are filled with acid. As you can see, it's like leaking. I guess that's why it was, you know, bound to die. But nevertheless, just be careful with this. You know, the last thing you want to do is get that in your eyes or in your hands and then, you know, scratch your eyes or whatever. It just cause a whole problem to you and just, just will suck. Anyways, get your 516. Okay, I think we're gonna have to grab. I need it. There is another. Okay, so I guess you gotta unbolt these bolts. They're huge, long bolts, like that long. And you grab your five sixteenths again and loosen it up. Make sure that oh shit. Oh, gosh, that's so heavy. Darn it. Okay. I'll just take it out. Oh my god. That's fucking... ah, that sucks. I'm not sure. I have to take this off. And then put that in and then I guess it clamps down on it, but let's take it off for just so we can be safe. And then I'm gonna take this uh, insulation guard off. Motherfuckers, 
shit so heavy. Put it on this one. It says Ford one, whatever, I don't care. Oh, and by the way, this is how it looks like. You know, just went over the battery, so I'm just gonna put it on the new one. If it fits, oh shoot, I ripped it, but oh well. Um, Come on, you stupid ass battery. Sweet, okay. All right, now let's put it on. It might be easier. Oh, if you have two people because this thing is heavy as hell. I think they're like 50 pounds. Okay, there we go. Just like that. Okay, now grab your little deal. Okay, so I just got the battery installed. All it is is some simple 5 16 bolts. <laughs> you know, disconnect negative, positive, and over here, there's gonna be a bolt that's about seven or eight inches long. And what that does is basically it clamps down onto the battery so it doesn't move. So once that all is done, let's go ahead and see if it works. I'm sure it'll work, but you know, t some, one time, we had a 06 Silverado 1500 and the battery died. And then, which was okay, you know, we just replaced it. And then once that was replaced, then all of a sudden the lights turned yellow and it just wasn't working right. So it turned out that the freaking alternator was burned out. But hopefully that does not happen on this application. Hopefully it'll just be a simple, you know, battery swap. But nevertheless, let's go ahead and start her up. Come on. All right, let's see. Ugh. Okay, batteries are on. Oh. 